When you want to teach a subject like mathematics, science, physics, chemistry, basically where you need to solve a lot of numericals. In that case, you want to write on screen. For that, you need a very good software that supports writing on screen. It should have pens, it should have highlighter, eraser and a lot of features. All of these features are already available in a software which is known as OneNote. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use OneNote, what are the options available on OneNote and how you can use it to create Khan Academy style videos which is an alternative to tabletop videos. OneNote is free and it is available for all the devices. You can use OneNote on your Android phone or your iOS phone. Even you can use your browser to access OneNote. And whatever you teach using OneNote, you can share it easily with your students either directly from OneNote to OneNote or by converting into a PDF. I believe after learning OneNote, you will use it every day for all your teaching and learning purposes. So why wait? Let's start. You can download OneNote from onenote.com slash download. Here as you can see by clicking on this button you will be able to download it and this OneNote software is available for Windows, Windows Phone, Mac, iPad, iPhone, Android and Web. This means you can use OneNote on any device and there is a device for which OneNote app is not available then you can open it in a browser. When you first open OneNote it looks like this. This is very simple interface. As you can see, there are very few menu items and very few options, but these options are very powerful and required for such software. The first thing that you have to see here that OneNote allow you to create notebooks. So right now there's one notebook selected. If I click here, I can add a new notebook or I can download notebooks which I have created earlier on my other devices like these notebooks. I'll cancel it. So once you have a notebook selected, then you can add sections to the notebook. Right now, as you can see, there are three sections. I can add one more section if I want. Under the sections, there are pages. So this means you will be able to organize your notebooks in notebook, section and pages. It is very helpful software when you want to take notes inside your class. So these are the pages and you can go to any page and start writing here or start editing on this area. This area is scrollable on the right side also and on the bottom side also. So there is no need to worry if you have only this area. No, you have a lot of area to write. Then as you can see, this is an untitled page. If I add a new page, then this page is also untitled. When you create a page, it automatically bring the keyboard cursor here, you can give it a name and then you can write here also. There is this keyboard cursor and if I click anywhere, you can see I can start writing here. See, I can type anywhere on this screen. There is no limit like MS Word or PowerPoint that you have to write in a sequence. You can write wherever you want. So this way you can create something like this. See, I have written anywhere. So when you have written something and you want to say that it is something important or it is a to-do list, you do not need to write it somewhere else. Simply go to this option. Here you will find a lot of options. Simply click on this tag to-do. This is a to-do list now. And when you completed it, you can also check it. So it was like that you have completed it. Isn't it a good feature for any note taking softwares? But I am not here to talk about these text options today. I want to show you the options for drawing so that you can create Khan Academy style videos while writing on screen. So let's go to draw. On this draw screen you will see these options. There are some pens, pencils and highlighter. So sometimes we don't want to write on white screen, we want to write on green screen or black screen. So we can go to view and change the page color from here. So let's click here and there are many colors. You can select any one of them like this. So you know Khan Academy style videos are made with black background. Green screen is also preferable because green is a sober color and it doesn't affect your eyes. So let's let me select this green color. 
this one is fine then you can also select the lines like these rule lines here so like this this so there are many so you can select a line which is appropriate for you see like this or you can decide that you do not need any lines once you are satisfied with your page and you are ready to teach by writing then you need a distraction free environment to write for that go to draw and click on this option enter full screen mode let's click here and now you will see a neat and clean interface in front of you as you can see notebook name is here and this is section name and this is page name and here you have this simple toolbar let's talk about all these items this is to type text for that when you click on this then you can actually go anywhere and start writing with keyboard then there are these pens these pens can be deleted and added as per your requirement so let's delete some pens from that it's a long list so let's let's delete this one right click on it and select delete again right click on it and select delete this way you can make your environment less complex so right now there are only four pens we can also modify it. so for example if i want to modify this i'll select this modify tool and i'll select a color white color because this is dark background so white color will look good and i'll select a pen tip which is not very thick so let's say this one is correct i can also see if it's right here yeah, it is perfect so this is my first pen let's set the second pen also click on modify tool and select i again select a light color like this yellow one and i have to see if it is looking perfect or not you can see it here see it is showing you how this pen is looking on this color as you can see there are these solid colors and there are some designer colors also for example if you select this color let me make the tip little bolder and then i will write here then you can see it is a designer tip but i don't want this in an educational setting so what i'll do i'll select a different color now i am ready with my pen set let's now add some other thing also there is this pencil see pencil is like this okay so i don't want pencil i need something else so i'll delete this pencil and i will add a highlighter so i have four pen and a highlighter is also required i'll select a highlighter green should work because i don't have green the screen green is visible on this dark green correct now i am ready with my pen set and highlighter set when you are ready you can start using these pens and highlighters so like i will select this white pen and then i will start writing with this see so it is little thicker i will select this one yeah this is perfect so like i can highlight i can draw i can do whatever i want there is this eraser option you can use this to erase things so like i can erase this so as you can see it is erasing complete stroke so see this is one line if i touch this eraser here the complete line is deleted when you open it you will see there are options like a stroke eraser a small eraser medium eraser large eraser so if i don't want to erase the complete stroke then i can use any of these options so like this is small eraser it will erase a small portion okay so basically it's like pen thin and thick so i select large then i can delete the large area like this see and if i want to delete everything then what i have to do there is this lasso select option so select this this lasso select allow you to select multiple things on your screen when you want to select you have to create a drawing like this so it will select everything inside this drawing and then you can press delete button from your keyboard and everything will be deleted so when you want to delete a lot of things then this lasso tool is very important then there is this option so what happens many times when you have uh, you teach something you wish that 
you have more space here because you want to write again here or you want to make some notes here. In that case, this is very good tool. This insert or remove extra space. So let us say if I want to add extra space between these two lines, what I'll do, I will select this tool, I'll go in between this line and then I will do like this. I will touch the screen and then I will move my hand. So you have a lot of space in between also. When I want to delete it, I will select this and I will then go there and I will move my hand upward. This way the area will be deleted. So you can add area like this or you can delete area. Then there are these shapes. When you need to insert shapes, you can use this option. Select the shape and simply draw it. If you want to change the properties, then you have to select this select tool and then you can change the properties of the images. Similarly, you can select any of the shape from here and then you can draw it on a screen and you want to change the property, you can do it easily like this. So I can also select everything by simply pressing Ctrl A and then using delete, I can delete everything. Then there is a very good feature which is known as ink to shape. Ink means basically pen. So ink to shape is a very good feature. I'll select it. I'll select a different pen this time now. And whenever I want to draw a shape, for example, if I want to draw a triangle, then I will draw like this. See, and I leave it and it will be converted automatically to a perfect triangle. Similarly, if I want to make a triangle like this, I will draw with my hand and it will automatically convert it into a triangle. See, if I want to draw a circle, I will draw a circle with my hand. As soon as I will leave it, it will become a perfect circle. Similarly, you can create a lot of shapes like this. See, I don't know whether it works for stars or not. No, it doesn't work for stars, <laughs> but it works for square. It works for this type of shape. See, it works for hexagon also. See, so this way with the help of ink to shape tool, you will be able to draw perfect shapes with the help of writing only. So like this, see, let's try to see if we are able to make arrow or not. So let's make this. No, we are not able to make arrows. No, even we are not able to add the arrow tip. When you make a mistake, then you can undo it by selecting this skull, this option. And when you want to redo something, then this is the option to redo. So I will undo a lot of things from here. Then there is this option for ink to text also. So for that, if I write something, this for example, I have written this, then I will select it with the help of lasso select. And then this ink to text will be available. So I'll click here. So as Microsoft OneNote saying, it is not supported for English India language. If I have selected English US, then this feature would have worked. So I'll say, okay. Then there is this math option. When you want to write equations on a screen, this math option helps. For that, what I will do, I will first write some equation. For example, ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero. This I have written. Now, if I want to use this math tool, then I have to select this option with the help of lasso select, and then I'll click on math. It will automatically try to detect this equation. So as you see, I write somewhere like this. This is why it is showing <laughs> this equation as this. Well, let me write a simple equation this time. A plus B is equal to zero. This time I try to write in single line. Let's select and click on math. Ah, finally, I'll say okay by clicking on this ink to math option and then this equation will be replaced. As you can see, this text is coming in black color. I don't want that. So for that, I have to first select it, then select text, click here, and then I will be able to see text edit options, and then I will select the white color. I can also select different size for this text like this. 
So this way you can create equations with the help of math tool. These are the notifications and this is undo redo option. I want to show you one more feature of the OneNote which is very important for teaching. So I can actually scroll in right hand side or in the bottom also. So for example, if I want to move towards bottom, then I must have written something in the bottom. So unless I cover this screen, OneNote will not allow me to scroll down. So let's say I have covered this one and now I can scroll. And this, see, this way I can scroll. And similarly, I want to scroll towards right also. So it will take me up to a point only. Then I have to again draw something and then again I can scroll towards right and bottom. See, this way you can cover complete page. There is an important tip for you. Don't write on the right side. Because when you want to share your PDF with the students, you don't want to break it. Okay. So for example, let me first undo everything so that I can write here. So let us say I have written on this bottom side and again there is something written here and then I want to give these notes to my student by simply pressing the share button. In the share button you will see I can, if a student also have one note, one note is free so a student can also download it. So there should be no problem with that. You can simply type their email address and click on can view. So they will be able to view your OneNote directly without worrying about installing any other software. But let us say you don't want that. In that case, you have to save it in PDF format. Let's now go back to the previous screen by simply clicking on this exit full screen drawing mode. So when we are here, we can select these three points and then click on print. And by selecting this PDF creator option, so or Microsoft print to PDF option and portrait mode, no not portrait, landscape mode, current page, fit to page, we will be able to share these notes with our students. But as you can see, there is nothing visible on the preview because of color. Because this is written with the white, let me use some other color like this highlighter. So I can use highlighter and then let me use this color, red color also. And then let's now try to print it. See this is how PDF looks. So this is how you can share your notes in PDF. Although it is recommended that you share your notes in OneNote form only because as you saw in PDF, the green background was not there. OneNote considered that it as white background only and white text on white background was not visible. So this is why either you have to select white background and use dark colors for pen or you have to share your notes in OneNote. Now I believe you know how to use OneNote for online or offline teaching and you also know how to share these notes with your students. I hope this knowledge will help you a lot. Please share this video with all your fellow teachers so that they also come to know about the wonderful features that OneNote provides. Namaste.